Greetings, everyone. Your local shenanigamer back again in Universe Sandbox 2. And you're probably not wondering what you're looking at right now, because you've read the title of the video. And good on you. But, uh, yeah, we're talking about Pluto's Revenge. And I have lined up our solar system here in a nice, neat, neat little package. So the Sun, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Earth, Venus, Mars, and Mercury... All in a line, including the rings, as simulated in Universe Sandbox 2, um, against our sun. Just gives you a nice sense of scale of what's going on here, isn't it? Pretty cool. So, Pluto, I've, I've oft talked about Pluto, and Pluto's often come up in the uh, comment section of uh, videos as well. Because uh, when I was a younger lad in school, Pluto was a planet, and, you know, through reconsidering, it's, it's now a dwarf planet. And you, you may agree with that, you may not agree with it, but for those that do not agree with it, it is time for Pluto's revenge. So, we're going to launch Pluto, and uh, we're going to have to find Pluto first. Would it be, yeah, it'd be in Miners, wouldn't it? Yeah, Pluto. So, we're going to do this at the speed of light, because why not? Because we can. And I'm going to try and line this up as, as close as I can to everything. And can Pluto take out the solar system? Or at least cause a chain reaction that will take out the solar system there as well? Now there's a screenshot for you. <laughs> How cool is that? So I hope, hope everyone's Saturday is, is going well. And thanks for all of those who've joined me on my uh, journey in live streaming. And um, yeah, don't forget you can subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you get the little bings and bongs when a new video comes out. And uh, hello to the notification squad. You know who you are, you amazing people here. So we're going to slow this right down initially because the speed of light is pre pretty fast, is it not? So let's just focus on Pluto for now and let's engage. We're going to ramp up speed. There we go. So we're doing five milliseconds. Actually, do you know what we'll do? Let's ooh, save this. Pluto's revenge. And we'll do it in five milliseconds. And we'll do it in real time in a minute as well. Because that'll be kind of cool, I think. So we're on, we're on the edge. Everything looks like it's completely frozen in time, which it almost is. For every second of our time, it's five milliseconds in the game. And you know, as Einstein would say, it's it's all relative, which is all good. So, as we wait here. Um, I could speed it up a little bit, but I'm curious to see what will happen with the rest of it. Um, how, how are you guys liking the new kind of posts every so often? I have that new community feature uh, on YouTube as well. So um, you'll, you'll see the odd poll from time to time. And I want to give a big shout out to the chat supporters as well. Um, there's a feature that I did not know of called Super Chat. Where um, it's kind of like Twitch, I think. Where people are like donating um which is amazing um not necessary at all but um i do appreciate your support as well so let's leave on the actually hang on pause view i think we know the names of the planets already first impacts Pluto gets destroyed by Mercury, but sets Mercury on a 
30,000 31,000 kilometer trajectory into oh wow into Mars so this is what I thought would happen again Venus has lost its atmosphere Mars is on a 30,000 trajectory as well yeah look it's it's passing it we have Newtonian physics going on here for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so the transference of force between the objects see the water oh, there he goes there it goes and we're going to head into you see the speed of Neptune is starting to increase so we're going to start increasing our speed here as well now will the bigger bodies have the same force applied to them you can see the speed is increasing here now rapidly into Neptune Neptune's being pushed into Uranus so let's speed up here a little bit more yeah we have that knock-on effect see the earth is just sitting there Be interesting to see what will happen with the sun Uranus and Neptune well on the way into Saturn and now you can see the rings are being left behind here already have some displacement happening on Mars on Jupiter even it's being pushed into the Sun Pluto's revenge Ooh. the Sun is blue shifted all this new material being added and you can still see here Mars is kind of a bit weird here for the Sun and the Sun has now a velocity of 30,700 ah there we go it's catching up is it gonna take away no Neptune let's focus on these little guys over here for a second what do we have? We still have Mars and we still have Neptune chasing the Sun. The rings have been left behind. Let's just speed these things up a little bit here. And now we have another impact. And all we have left is the Sun. The rings are a distant memory. all these collisions uh, Sun is getting peppered so Pluto's revenge not bad not bad at all but the Sun remained and it's going through its own reaction here now look at the radius of it increasing what will happen all these collisions Is it stabilized? Still getting a little bit bigger there now. It seems to have kind of calmed down now. There's that one. Where is it? Still one mark on it there at the moment. Yeah. 
That is what it is. We can see that surface explosion there now. Just radiating through. But no explosion beyond all the planet's destructions. So, that was pretty cool. I like that. So let's reload that again. Open. Do, 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 do. Oh, great in VR. Ooh. Let's check that out. Uh, my Sims. What did we call it again? Pluto's Revenge, I think it was. There we go. Okay. So the plants are already cooking, but don't worry about that. Pause. Uh, let's go to seconds. Let's go to one. This should be quick. <laughs> let's just see how quick this will go. You ready? Don't worry about the temperatures of the, those planets. Pluto traveling at the speed of light. Almost instant hit. Fantastic explosion so far. So this is happening in real time now. So the first, the rocky planets almost disappeared instantaneously. So Mars, Venus, Mercury, Pluto itself, Earth, gone. And then things slow down a little bit just to the scale of what's happening here. So I actually thought this would be a little bit quicker. But this will take a little bit of time. I wasn't paying attention to how fast I was uh, moving it before. Sucked in. In that instance there now, did you see Jupiter got sucked into the sun? A bit more so. Well, why are all you guys here? I didn't realize zoo little bodies were here. So, that goes to show you what would happen if Ju Jupiter really got pissed somehow orchestrated all the planets lining up and then manifested the power necessary to propel a dwarf planet at the speed of light. Um, I'm a strong believer in the philosophy that nothing is impossible but highly improbable. Poof. There we go. And that concludes today's video, so thanks for joining me. Keep your crazy suggestions coming and I will make sure you guys get a fantastic video this Sunday, including a drive with Shenanigans Games as well. So thanks for your support as always. Don't forget to hit that like button if you can, if you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you haven't already done so, be sure to check out that lovely subscription button and notification bell as well. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye. often come up in the uh, comment section of uh, videos as well because uh, when I was a younger lad in school Pluto was a planet and you know through reconsidering it's, it's now a dwarf planet and y you may agree with that you may and Mercury all in a line including the rings as simulated in Universe Sandbox 2 um, against our Sun just gives you a nice sense of scale of what's going on here, isn't it? Pretty cool. So, Pluto, I've, I've oft talked about Pluto, and Pluto's... <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Your local shenanigans gamer back again in Universe Sandbox 2 not agree with it, but for those that do not agree with it, it is time for Pluto's revenge. So, we're going to launch Pluto, and uh, we're going to have to find Pluto first. Would it be, yeah, it'd be in Miners, wouldn't it? And you're probably not wondering what you're looking at right now, because you've read the title of the video. And good on you. But uh, yeah, we're talking about Pluto's revenge. 
And I've lined up our solar system here in a nice neat, neat little package. So the Sun, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Earth, Venus, Mars,